Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor, welcome back to Made, and today I'm super excited to explore this concept of a decentralized web. So when it comes to domains and the concept of a decentralized web, many of you ask me, Christian, do I actually own my domain name outright, or are there stipulations attached to my registration? The answer is no, you don't own your domain name outright, but policies and regulations generally protect the domain from being taken from you. But at the end of the day, it is entirely possible possible for your domain name to be seized. You're leasing it from the domain registry and they have full control over what happens with your domain name. I've talked about this sanctioned monopoly system before, which you can learn more about in my domain FAQ video, but you don't own your domain name. It's actually impossible to own a traditional domain name. You may have noticed I said traditional domain name because a company is working on a new type of domain name that you can own outright. I had the chance to interview Brad Cam, the co-founder of Unstoppable Domains, to talk more about the future of the decentralized web. And no, this video is not sponsored. I just thought this was really, really cool what Unstoppable Domains was doing. So Unstoppable Domains builds domain names on blockchains. And this is different than a traditional domain because the domain name is stored by you, the user, inside of your cryptocurrency wallet. So it's stored inside of your wallet, just like a cryptocurrency would be. And what this does is it means that no one else can, <clears throat> excuse me, move the domain around, take it away from you, make updates to the domain, anything. Unstoppable domains can't do it. No one can do it. They need to go and get your private key which is on your device, like your phone or your computer or whatever. Right now, when you go to purchase a domain name, you don't actually own it. You're leasing it from a domain registrar like Namecheap, and they're leasing it at wholesale pricing from the domain registry. For .com domains, that's VeriSign. VeriSign holds the keys to every single .com domain, and that means they have the power to seize a domain name at any given time. Now this is technically extremely rare, but it is possible. And it brings up a rising problem with our internet, control. Brad calls this the power structure of a domain name system. We're a registry uh, similar to like a VeriSign. The power structure is very different because once we've sold you a domain, there's nothing that we can do. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a .com domain, you're trusting the registry not to change prices or take the domain away from you in the future. Our domain names are one-time fees, so you never have to worry about it. Once you buy a domain name, it's more like buying a football from us. Like there's nothing we can do. We can't update or edit or take the football away from you once you have it. In the traditional world, there's a lot of these resellers. And so GoDaddy is a reseller, for example, of .com domains. Uh, we're mostly selling our own domains at unstoppabledomains.com right now. Uh, but there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of other places that you can buy them. You can go to my Ether Wallet, for example, and you can buy them. Uh, so yeah, I think that's something that's going to build. In terms of us getting started, it's a little it was a little easier for us to kind of manage the whole user experience and build all these special tools. But if you were to like you know imagine what things are going to be like in five to ten years. Yeah, there, there should be lots of different uh, lots of different sellers and resellers and things like that. Of course, a new type of domain name means that you can't register .com, .co, .net, or any of the standard TLDs you're used to seeing. Right now, Unstoppable Domains is starting with .crypto. Not a TLD you'd think of as being an ideal fit for your blog or business, but we could see some generic TLDs being offered in the future. For now, Unstoppable Domains is catering to crypto enthusiasts. It's a totally different domain name system, meaning you can't type crayler.crypto into your browser and load it. Or can you? See, these crypto domains are NFT items. You've probably seen this term pop up everywhere recently. Non-fungible tokens are units of data on a ledger, that is, the blockchain, and they represent a unique digital item, in this case, a domain name. Now, I'm not claiming to understand all the technical specifics of this new domain name system. To be honest, I still struggle with some of the concepts of cryptocurrency, and I'm not an expert in this space. But today, we're not focusing as much on the technical side of NFT domains, but more what it means for the future of the internet. The biggest bottleneck is that internet browsers, Google Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge, have not yet implemented support for NFT domains. Unstoppable Domains has a solution for this 
thanks to Cloudflare adding support for their domains so you can change the DNS resolver in Chrome and be able to load your NFT domain. The cool thing about a blockchain domain name is that it's really more like this, it's this user controlled identifier thing. You could actually point it to all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can point it to crypto addresses. So you can send me money to brad.crypto without needing to know my addresses. You can point it to my decentralized website that would be on IPFS, but you could also point it to traditional servers as well. This isn't something we've made super easy yet, but it is, it is possible. Um, and something that I think is, is, is going to be valuable and, and useful for people. Um, even having a decentralized domain name, even if your web content is not decentralized, still gives you a lot more control um, and takes away this problem of, hey, I marketed my website. I marketed this domain name to my users. I built up a following here. Uh, that part can't, can't go away. Um, yes, Amazon could, you know, go down or get hacked. Amazon Web Services could go down or get hacked or, or whatever. Um, but I still have uh, some security. So I think there's a lot of value in having that uh, intermediate approach. But there's still a lot of progress to be made. It's not easy to point your crypto domain to traditional web hosting. And quite frankly, traditional web hosting goes against the whole concept of a decentralized web. If I own my domain name outright, why do I want to rely on any one company to host my website? Any one company who could pull the plug at any given time. That's where IPFS comes in, which is a decentralized web hosting that shares your website files among thousands of computers all over the world. The hardcore decentralized approach would be put your web content up on IPFS. And the way this works is you're putting your content up on it. IPFS is almost like a, like a BitTorrent type service where you're storing and it's a community that's of nodes that are storing and sharing content. So people will be, you know, you, you post a music file and then a hundred different people all store it. And that's what makes it, um, easy to access. You know, you're not relying on one person, one group, one set of servers. Similar for your web content. So I can put my website up and it can be stored by a hundred different people on this network or a thousand different people on this network. And that's what makes it accessible. Now, uh, that tech is in like very early days. We're in like 1996 internet. Um, I'm going to date myself here, but uh, my friends and I were building websites with uh, GeoCities in, in the 1990s. And so that's like our, that's like our reference point. Like we're in kind of like GeoCities phase of the internet um, where most people are really just putting up front ends because back ends are hard. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to do things, complicated things with databases right now. All that tech is getting better. Fast forward 10 years, I'm sure it can do uh, any number of things. And, and many of the things that, um, you know, the traditional uh, storage platforms would be able to do uh, today, but it's going to take a while. Unstoppable Domains is not an IPFS host, although they do offer free IPFS hosting for now, included with your domain name purchase. But it's an example of how these decentralized domains can work together with decentralized hosting to create an entirely new internet. All of this has one thing in common modifying the power structure of the internet. It's allowing people to publish websites without any one company having control to take your website down. I asked Brad what the likelihood is of tech giants implementing native support for decentralized domains in the coming years. I mean, we're definitely going to get there. I think that the, the, the first phase is going to be these more alternative browsers and alternative search engines that are more philosophically aligned with uh, with a, you know, with a decentralized internet, with a user controlled internet. And there's a lot of those. So you've already seen Opera browser, Brave browser, uh, supporting crypto wallets natively. That's a first step, I would say, to embracing uh, the decentralized web in this way. So we've already seen these browsers moving into crypto in this way, and even some crypto wallets moving into the browser world, like building browsers. So we're already seeing that happen. Uh, on the search side as well, um, again, mostly these kind of privacy-oriented, uh, privacy-oriented browsers. So there's enough um, there's enough action amongst the alternative web tool community now uh, to have a fully functioning alternate internet uh, sitting there off to the side uh, that we can all use and experiment with, and the crypto community and others can can embrace. Longer term, I don't see any reason why Chrome or Google search wouldn't support these websites. 
I just don't think they care until there's more users. But for now, crypto domains are mainly for crypto enthusiasts. They function as a username of sorts for people to send crypto to one another without needing a long crypto wallet address. It's sort of like having an easy to remember Venmo username. I asked Brad if there's anything extra special about crypto domains, such as the ability to have a verified domain check mark, kind of like how social media accounts can be verified. I think this is a superpower of blockchains um, that is not well understood, which is that you can attest data in a way that gives you high confidence that it's true. Uh, and this is going to enable a completely new internet where we have trust, uh, trust verified uh, without needing to know who we're dealing with. So for example, I could know, yes, this is Coca-Cola because they have verified that they are also the owner of this, these social media accounts uh, and these other properties. And we've all we've verified all of this information and tied it all back to the domain name uh, on the blockchain. So we know this is true. Uh, I could also imagine a world where you have like forums where, you know, talking about biology and in order to post, you need to verify, you need to have a verified PhD in, you know, in biology or something like that. Um, all of these kinds of things that you can't do uh, in the regular world, um, you know, verifying your history, like before you review a product, uh, proving that you actually bought it, proving that you actually went to the restaurant before you do the review, all of those kinds of things um, would completely change the information that we have on the internet. And people say, you know, people ask about, you know, what's going on with fake news and other things like that. This is not a cure-all. Fake news is going to continue to be a problem. But when we have this, ver when we can add this, this attested and verified information about somebody, uh, about a user without them needing to expose any of the information to us. Like, I don't need to know their name. I don't need to know where they went to university. I don't need to know any of that. I just need to know um, this proof exists. Therefore, they did. They do have this degree, uh, even if I don't know who they are. So that is just going to completely change the internet. It's going to completely change the quality of information uh, probably the thing I'm most excited about. Overall, I am super excited for the future of crypto domains. The decentralized web isn't here yet. It may take a decade before we see real promise and payoff, but it's coming. I got Crailer.crypto and set up a basic landing page on it. I want to give a huge thank you to Brad Cam of Unstoppable Domains for joining me in this video. If you want to learn more about Unstoppable Domains or purchase your .crypto domain, I'll have a link in the description below. So what do you think of the decentralized web? I'd love to hear thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when i release new videos with that said i'll catch you guys next time